Hey everyone, welcome back to another FSD Beta 10.12.2 video. It's been a while since I've done any recording. I think the last time was, wow, that was really close to the edge. Uh, going around those bikers, that was a little sketchy. Uh, it's been a while since I've done any recording. I think the last time I actually put the GoPro in my car and did recording was June 26th. And I think today is basically a month later. I don't know, it's sometime mid-July. But we're, uh, we're going on a bit of a longer drive right now. We're gonna be doing some city streets, some highway, and I'm gonna see how long the GoPro records before it overheats and just kinda, you know, get a full sense of a, like an hour, hour 15-ish long drive. Uh, we're really slowing down here, I think, for these pedestrians who are on the other side of the road. Uh, so I don't, we didn't need to be slowing down for that, but and we're slowing down for this stop sign. It, it typically doesn't do that very well. Um, it's gotten better in the last few builds, but every once in a while it decides to slow down. Uh, for the most part, it's not stopping for that anymore, which is really good. But uh, yeah, it, it likes to swing over to the right there as well. Um, it wasn't doing that for a while. It did it at the beginning of 10.12.2 and for, I don't know, the, the Basically for the first drive I did that and it's done it, you know, a couple of times since then, but I've driven this this direction I don't know, several dozen times during that span and uh, Yeah, it's only done it a few times. So it's, it's funny the times it does and, and it doesn't uh, Let's see how it does this turn because it doesn't usually handle it very well What I was gonna say was uh, FSD needs some work done uh, with regards to it actually did that That's probably the best it's ever done that turn uh, FSD definitely needs improvement around hills though in predicting things uh, when there are hills. Um, so in the case of those pedestrians just a moment ago, they the, the reason I think why the car slowed down was because they were up on a hill so it kind of maybe could have looked like they were in the street. So it's understandable that the car slowed down but definitely needs more, more training data uh, in hilly areas. So we have some news, 10.13 supposedly went to internal beta yesterday or today. So we'll see how long it takes. I think it's typically like a week or so before it gets pushed to the first round of beta testers, which is typically the first thousand that got access almost two years ago now. So they might have that next week. We can get release notes and some early footage and then I'll get it in the, the second wave of people is typically what happens. Uh, but I'm guessing much like 10.12 and 10.11, uh, they're gonna be a, a couple patch releases before they do a full-on push to the, the 200,000 driver fleet or FSD fleet. So we'll probably more likely see 10.13.1 or two, uh, more so than 10.13. And it also sounds like uh, version 11, which is basically the current FSD stack plus highway driving, could theoretically come at the end of the summer or early September. Uh, we'll see. I'm, you know, I, I take Elon's timelines with a grain of salt typically. Um, so if he says September or August, uh, I'd maybe think closer to October or November, but it's hard to say. Sometimes what he what he says actually comes true. So I know they were doing alpha testing um, um, of the 11 a highway stack a couple months ago at least. So it's something they've been working on now for for some time. So maybe it's closer to being ready than anyone even really thinks. If that's the case, it's super exciting and can't wait to see it. I think it's going to improve a lot of the stuff that I talked about in my last video around autopilot in general and lane changes, speed based lane changes, how long it takes to change lanes after turning on your signal. So, yeah, we're definitely going left here, right? Yeah. Um, so it, it <laughs> sometimes has an issue picking the lane there for whatever reason. Uh, it wants to get in the right lane to take a left. Thing we're also going to see here is the car get into the left lane and then need to quickly get over to the right 
and then I think, you know, for whatever reason, it, it gets super confused at this, um, and tries, always tries to cut this a little too short and slows down. That time was actually pretty good. That's probably the best it's ever done that turn without me needing to do anything. Typically, I feel like I need to press the accelerator to get it to actually commit, take it right there. I think there's been a couple times where it's actually tried to abort the right turn and go straight. But good to see that it did it well there. Wish I knew what the difference was, but that's all right. Should have an opportunity to go here in just a sec. It's all clear, we can commit. It's a good turn. As a human, I would have gone a little bit sooner, but nothing too much to complain about there. Avoiding that glass there. Didn't need to disengage, but didn't feel like running that over. Okay, so the car typically does this incorrectly. So there's two left lanes that we can turn left in. We want to be in the right lane because we're immediately taking a right to get on, get on the freeway, but usually what the car does is it gets in the right lane correctly and then we'll uh, halfway through the left turn lane get over into the left lane. This time it just chose the left one, which in this situation, I honestly, yeah, you can, it's got the right turn signal on, which is weird. Um, so now it's realized it's a mistake and it's just gonna stay in this lane, which is fine. Uh, it's kind of nice to be in this left lane though, because we're guaranteed to make the light. It's just gonna be a little more complicated for FSD to get over. We'll see how it handles it here. Um, but it does immediately need to get over to the right, so we're slowing down, and I think we're gonna take our opportunity to get in right now. Okay, it actually did that pretty well. As a human, I wouldn't have done that. I would have gotten, you know, just stayed in the right lane to take the left initially, but it's fine. Car's also a little wonky when it comes to yields, getting onto certain stretches of, of freeway. Um, in that case, I had to hit the accelerator to, to get us going, but. Now we're gonna be hopping on the freeway and I probably won't do much talking here, I'll just be recording. Um, but yeah, see you on the other side. All right, we're coming up to a roundabout here. Let's see how it does. It usually, it, it doesn't usually like to continue into the roundabout, so might just be tapping the accelerator, but hopefully it just continues. Good, good, good. All right, it did that pretty well. A little bit of hesitation right at the end there, but not bad, not bad at all. If you made it this far, thanks so much for watching. It was a pretty good drive. Car did, uh, car did quite well. Um, didn't really have any big disengagements. FSD performed super well. Autopilot was great. So it was basically an hour, 15 hour, 30 minute drive without too much issue. So if you do enjoy the content, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys all in the next video.